Hey, what's going on, guys? For this video, this is going to be my top 10 ROH on HC Net matches of 2009. The reason I'm doing this video is because I'm eventually uh, going to do a top 50 ROH matches of uh, 2009 from the just the official shows that were non HD Net shows. Um, you know, when I first came on YouTube, the, the first videos I, I did were uh, you know the top 100 matches of 2008. You know, I did that for a lot of reasons. I thought that would be a, a nice way to start off on YouTube and it was a good way to help promote the company so that's why I did that but you know 100 matches is a little bit too much I really don't have an image to do that many and plus I don't think there were a hundred matches from this year that were at least three and a half stars I thought 2008 was just a little slightly a better year than 2009 but uh, you know I, I would I'm just gonna stick to 50 so eventually there will be a top 50 matches of 2009 from the official shows but this is gonna be for, from the HD net tapings from 2009 uh, you know, let me talk about the HD Net tapings just for a little bit first. Uh, I thought they were, uh, you know, from from top to bottom, like I've been saying, they 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 haven't been as it hasn't been a spectacular show. But uh, the one great thing about the show is it usually delivers a pretty strong main event. And we've had several main events uh, that have definitely surpassed the four star level. I think without a doubt, ROH has definitely produced the best main events on on television all year all year long. Now I, I won't say that they've been. The overall best wrestling show. There have been times when SmackDown's been better, and even ECW has pretty much been more enjoyable from start to finish at some points. But you know, overall, ROH probably definitely delivers. You know, you're guaranteed at least a, a great match, or almost a great match every single show. So, um, so let's get right down to it. Uh, number ten, I'm going to go with the American Wolves and Chris Hero versus Kenta and Kevin Steen El Generico. Uh, I believe this took place. I believe they taped this back at the end of May. You know, this is just a great six-man tag match. You know, they brought Kenta in. It was just a lot of great action. You know, just just your, uh, just a great main event. So, uh, number nine, I'm going to go with Brian Danielson versus Roderick Strong. Um, you know, I, I was kind of pissed off that they, they put this match on the HD Net tapings. I thought this would have been better off if they had it at the uh, the Dayton show. Uh, but, yeah, this is Brian, during Brian Danielson's final countdown tour. Him, him and Roger Strong have, have great matches, as they always do. But this is one of their weaker matches, but it was still very good, though. Uh, Roger Strong actually ended up getting the win with the uh, Gibson Bomb. So, And uh, I, I was kind of disappointed in the finish. I thought it could have been could have went a little bit longer. It's a lot shorter than the usual Brian Dance and Roger Strong match, but uh, still very good stuff. Uh, that was number nine. Number eight, I'm going to go with the Young Bucks versus the American Wolves. Uh, you know, what can I say? You know, a great match between probably the two best tag teams in all professional wrestling from 2009. This is just great action. Uh, no, just gr really great stuff there. Uh, I can't remember when they, when they taped this match. I think it probably aired in November or December. I'm not sure. This came at the later part of the year. This is actually the first Young Bucks American Wolves match. I know they had a uh, they had another one recently, actually. Uh, number seven, I'm going to go with... Uh, oh, I'll have this wrong. All right, Stina Generico versus the American Wolves. Uh, this is the tables match on HDNet. I believe this aired, or this took place right after WrestleMania weekend, or actually right before WrestleMania weekend, actually. I, so I believe it aired in, uh, probably aired in April. I think it was taped in March. This was when the American Wolves actually won the belt from Steen and Generico, tipped the tables match. Uh, yeah, it, it, it was okay. I don't think it was as good as some people say. I, I would say probably one of the weaker matches in the series, but... Uh, it, it definitely was a big deal, you know, the first ever title change on HDNet, and uh, I thought it had a great ending. Uh, pretty good tables match. I'd probably say four stars, so it was, pretty, it was really good. Uh, number six, I'm going to go with Danielson, Roderick Strong, and Kenta versus the American Wolves and Chris Hero. I'm probably underrating this, but, you know, it's just still an amazing match. It's great action. Uh, you know, you get, you get three of the best wrestlers in the world on one team, and then you get, uh, you know, the, probably the best tag team in the world. With that young knockout kid, Chris Hero. I mean, this just made for a very explosive match. A lot of great talent in this match. Like total nonstop action. Uh, crowd, crowd loved this. I mean, they were going crazy for it. So, uh, I believe this was uh, taped in August. Actually, was it taped in August? Yeah, I believe it was taped in August and probably aired in September. So yeah, definitely a great match there. Uh, number five, I'm going to go Brian Danson and Austin Aries for the ROH title. This took, I believe, this was taped in August. And uh, I guess it aired in October. This was uh, very good, underrated. Crowd wasn't really that into it, but uh, you know, maybe one of the weaker Brian Danson Austin Aries matches. But it was still very good. It was 
uh, technically very solid. Uh, it's a, it definitely a sleeper match of the year candidate. Uh, a lot of people just forget, forgot about this. There was pretty much no buzz at all for this match, but uh, it was very good stuff. Aries actually got the win with a, uh, I believe he just won with a, uh, he just pinned Danielson to the mat and uh, got his leverage on him and, and pinned him. I think that's pretty much how it went. Uh, number four, I'm going to go with Austin Aries versus Roderick Strong versus Kenny Omega versus Davey Richards uh, for the ROH World Title on HGNet. A uh, great fade of four-way match. This took place uh, at, during the latter part of the year, actually. I think it was taped in December, or or I think it aired in December. Uh, I believe this was the first taping when Jim Cornette was uh, assigned the executive producer of ROH on HGNet. So, yeah, it was just a really good match. Aries kind of got the fluke win, but it was just great action between all four of those guys. So, uh, yeah, number three, I'm going to go with Brian Danielson versus Tyler Black. This aired on July 25th, I have written down. Uh, and uh, this is actually the third match that they had on HTNet. Without a doubt, this is the best one that, that they did. It, they got a lot of time out there, uh, a lot of great spots, a lot of great near falls. This was definitely the best Brian Danielson uh, Tyler Black match. And uh, I believe Tyler Black actually went over here. So that's Brian Danielson versus Tyler Black. And all these matches, I'll have in the uh, description uh, box. So definitely you can check all these matches out for free right here on YouTube. Um, you know, this, this, is pretty, this, this is good because it limits you to, you know, to, to the best matches that are available uh, on HDNet. So, uh, all right, number two, I'm going to go with Chris Hero versus Kenta. Um, I'm one of the guys that actually loved this match. I thought it was probably the best Kenta uh, match on HDNet. Uh, one of Kenta's best matches of the year. In, in my opinion, it's one of his top five matches. And uh, there, there was great fighting spirit here. A lot of great no selling. You know, they just went hard. Uh, here, a lot of people say Hero did the rolling elbow a little bit too much, but I actually thought it worked here. Uh, crowd was crazy for this. They actually woke the crowd up with this match. So uh, I've talked about this match before, but you guys know it was, it was an excellent match. And uh, number one, I'm going to go with Jerry Lynn versus Brian Danielson versus Austin Aries versus Tyler Black. Uh, Fatal 4 on, on HDNet, without a doubt, probably the best HDNet match of all that ROH has done all year. Uh, this happened right after WrestleMania weekend. Jerry Lynn successfully defended the ROH World Title. This has had great action. I remember Austin Aries looked really good in this match, and all four of these guys have busted their ass. A great athletic match. Uh, just tremendous action. You really didn't know who was going to win, but, uh, you know, when Jerry Lynn won it, you know, the, fan, the fans were kind of shitting on Jerry Lynn. They were, I think they were chanting, uh, fuck you, Lynn. Fuck you, Lynn. You know, they were chanting that. So, you know, that was kind of uh, classless on their point to, to chant that. But, you know, it, 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 made, it, it made the match a little bit more interesting. So, uh, so that's the best match of the year on HDNet, in my opinion. Definitely check all these matches out. Um, you know, like, like I said, coming soon, we'll have the top 50 ROH matches of 2009 from the official shows, the non-HDNet shows. So, all right, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, take it easy. All right.